Every stitch matters if you're looking for quality in the seat of the upholstery trade. On this edition of Spotlight on Business. Hi, my name is Emoja. I'm here at Papa Rasta Upholstery. Emoja is the passionate owner of Papa Rasta Upholstery. He works, creates, designs, and manufactures a variety of upholstery for clients, ranging from antique furniture to automotive seats, all from his home office. I pretty much refurbish furniture and um, give them a, sh a new look and uh, provide comfort. Emoja's father was an upholsterer in Jamaica. After working many different jobs, Emoja was bitten by the upholstery bug, finding his passion with scissors, foam, and fabric. I do this because I love it very much. My father did it for over 40 years. I picked up in the last nine or so years of it. In the last of it, I own my own business prior to moving here in 2015. Papa Rasta Upholstery is based on the can-do attitude that Emoja says was fostered by his father. I walk with the principle and idea that my father shared with me that there's nothing you cannot do and anything someone else do, you can do it as well. Emoja says his skills include traditional craftsmanship with tack and needle, but progress with technology. Mastering the staple gun and epoxy, requiring each job to pair itself with the right technique. Well, what I observed my father was using was tack and armor. So the more modern style is pneumatic staple gun with staplers. I've recently upholstered a chair from in the 1920s, and um, that was done by a craftsman that did use hammer and tack. Um, Beyond that, uh, mostly stuff that I've been working on is more modern. Planned obsolescence isn't always the case with furniture and upholstery items. Sometimes Emoja finds even new construction projects integrate material with sentimental value that require his skills. People generally throw stuff away. Um, so it's very rare, you know, when someone said, okay, I have this chair from XYZ amount of time, I would like to keep it, but I want to give it a new look with fresh material and padding and everything, and that's where I come in. All businesses have a beginning, some from the back of a garage like Papa Rasta Upholstery. There is profit to be made, but in Emoja's case, his shop provides him with satisfaction of a job well done. take a lot of um, pride in my work. Uh, it's what brings me most joy is a satisfied customer. The labor plan of Papa Rasta Upholstery is that of a one-person shop, with occasional help from a friend, depending on the job at hand. I'm the sole proprietor because I'm working by myself. Um, randomly, I'll have a friend come over to assist. Emoja developed a business style, pacing out job assignments to avoid overworking himself and his resources. Work generally flow um, consistent, so in other words, when one goes out, another one comes in just the right rhythm based on um, the workman available for um, the demand at the moment. Papa Rasta Upholstery's future is based on two focal points, expansion and education. Papa Rasta Upholstery, um, the idea is to have multiple locations, um, you know, Seattle, Tacoma, Bellevue, etc. And even beyond that, where we could open institution and um, train individual, these young upcoming um, students that are leaving high school, you know, could be another trade for, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful skill to have. When asked why Tacoma, Emoja tacks on the pride he feels living, working and being a part of his community. I, I love Tacoma. Um, I, I, the only place I've traveled is here. Prior to leaving Jamaica, I haven't had the opportunity to travel elsewhere. Um, I've heard stories, I've read news, and um, this place sticks out very well. I feel very welcome. I've been made to feel very welcome, and there's no other place that I would rather be right now.